Ever feel like no matter what you do, your weight keeps bouncing back to the same number? Like your body has a built-in default setting that refuses to change. You lose weight, but then it creeps right back up. You try harder, but your body fights you every step of the way. That's because of something called your weight set point. It's like your body's internal thermostat for weight. And if that thermostat is set too high, it feels impossible to lose weight and keep it off. But here's the good news, you can change it. Today I'm breaking down the science behind your weight set point, why it gets stuck, and most importantly, how to lower it for good. This isn't about willpower. It's about working with your biology to create lasting change. So if you've ever felt stuck, trust me, you're in the right place. Let's get started. And before we get started, share in the comments if you've struggled with regaining weight after you've lost it. Your weight set point is the range where your body naturally wants to stay. Think of it like a thermostat. If your body thinks your set point is 200 pounds, it will fight to keep you there by adjusting hunger, metabolism, and even energy levels. This is why losing weight isn't just about eating less and moving more, it's about understanding how your body regulates weight. If you drop below your set point, your body ramps up hunger hormones like ghrelin and slows down metabolism to pull you back up. If you go above your set point, your body may try to burn more energy. But for many of us, this system is broken. So why is your set point stuck too high? Let's break it down. Your body is supposed to regulate weight automatically. But modern life has disrupted that system. Let me share why. Number one, leptin resistance. Leptin is the hormone that tells your brain, hey, we've had enough food, no need to store more fat. But if you've been overweight for a long time, your brain stops responding to leptin. This is called leptin resistance, and it makes you feel hungrier than you should be. Number two, insulin resistance. If insulin is high all the time, thanks to a diet high in processed carbs, your body will keep storing fat and refuse to burn it. That's why lowering insulin is key to resetting your set point. Number three, chronic inflammation has an effect on your metabolism. Extra fat tissue produces inflammatory molecules that interfere with your brain's ability to regulate weight. This inflammation damages the hypothalamus, the part of the brain that controls your weight thermostat, keeping you stuck at the higher weight. Number four, stress and poor sleep. High stress and bad sleep increases cortisol, which encourages your body to store belly fat. And when you don't sleep enough, your hunger hormones get out of whack. You crave junk food and your metabolism slows down. Now that you've heard that, let's get to the real solutions. How to reset your set point for good. The good news, your body is not stuck. With the right approach, you can lower your set point, meaning your body will naturally settle at a lower weight without extreme dieting. Here's how. Number one, you have to regulate insulin and leptin with the right foods. Eat more protein and healthy fats. That's because protein keeps us full and fat helps regulate hormones like leptin and insulin. Focus on grass-fed beef if you can afford it, eggs, fatty fish, and butter. Eliminate processed carbs. Cut back on bread, pasta, and sugar to keep insulin low. Your body will start burning fat instead of storing it. Try intermittent fasting. Fasting helps reset insulin sensitivity and trains your body to burn fat for fuel. Start with a 12-hour fasting window, then build up to 16 hours if it feels right for you. Number two, reduce inflammation to heal your brain and metabolism. You can do this by ditch inflammatory foods. Avoid seed oils, ultra-processed junk, and sugar. These foods drive inflammation, making it harder for your body to regulate weight. Eat nutrient-dense foods. Prioritize grass-fed meat if your budget allows again, bone broth, and organ meats for essential vitamins and minerals that support metabolic health. And of course, consider a low-carb or carnivore diet. This can be one of the fastest ways to lower inflammation, improve leptin sensitivity, and reset your set point. Number three, strength training and non-exercise activity thermogenesis, also known as NEAT. This helps you build muscle to raise your metabolism. And when you do that, muscle burns more calories at rest, helping lower your set point over time. Even just two strength workouts per week can make a big difference. Move throughout the day, neat movement like walking, standing, or fidgeting. All help your body burn hundreds of extra calories per day without formal exercise. Number four, optimize sleep and manage stress. Do your best to get seven to nine hours of sleep because sleep deprivation makes your hunger hormones go wild 
increasing cravings for junk food. And make sure to reduce stress because high cortisol levels keep your body stuck in fat storage mode. Try meditation, deep breathing, or simply get outside for a walk. And be consistent. Small daily habits compound over time. Focus on progress, not perfection. Listen, your set point is not your destiny. If you struggle with weight for years, I want you to hear me loud and clear. Your body wants to heal. Small consistent changes rewire your metabolism over time. You don't have to be perfect. Just keep moving forward. And if this video helped you, hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe for more science back strategies. And remember, you are in control. Give your body what it needs and watch what happens. I can't wait to see you in my next video.